I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge to do my best for Thero and work to achieve school's goals. I'm committed to striving to do better. I'm continuously improving. I will look up, not down. Forward, not back. I will uphold the standard of excellence and become the finest individual that I can possibly be. I am a global citizen, positively impacting every life that I reach. I am college bound, college ready, and committed to succeed in life. I am a Thero Panther. Man my Thero Panther. I am a Thero Panther. Yo soy Thero. I am a Thero Panther. Good morning, Thero Panther. Today is Thursday, February 12, 2015. My name is Donovan Harris, and welcome to this week's news show. Time to wish everybody a happy birthday that was born during the week of February 8th through February 14th. Those students are Kaya Fry, Alexis Huff, Anthony Williams, Kia Sorrell, Mia Burks, Cedric Champion, Roderick Carmen, Taiwan Brown, Andre Breyer, M1 Ellis, Rihanna Brown, Jacoya Allen, Jamie McBride, Miata Baker, Daniel Martin, Jonathan Harris, and Malik Youngblood. We also have some teachers that we would like to recognize. Ms. M. Robinson's birthday was on Monday, February 9th, and Dr. Smith's birthday was on Tuesday, February 10th. When you see these people, wish them a happy birthday. Plain carrying Chilean soccer stars found 50 years later. Climbers in Chile's Andes Mountains say they have found the wreckage of a missing plane that disappeared more than half a century ago with a team of soccer stars on board. Images of the twisted wreck of the Chile Douglas DC-3 that went down April 3, 1961 were shown on Chilean television Sunday, released by the climbers who said the find was in Mall, about 300 kilometers south of Santiago. The plane is more than 3,200 meters, that is 10,000 feet, up the mountain. Quite a bit of the fuselage is still there. A lot of things scattered over the area, including human bones. So this story is getting a rewrite, since this is not where the original account said, one of the mountaineers, Leonardo Albernoz, explained. Former Olympian and reality star Bruce Jenner was involved in a horrific car accident on the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu around noon last Saturday, February 7th. One person is dead, and it looks like Bruce caused the accident. Law enforcement sources tell us there were four vehicles involved in the crash. Now to Courtney Hayes with our current events. Good morning, Thera High School. My name is Courtney Hayes, and I'm here with your current events. Ms. Edwards is hosting a work readiness workshop during advisory from February 2nd through February 26th for the upcoming job fair on February 27th. You must attend one of her workshops in order to attend the job fair. Dexter Brown was the only APS student to make it to the state championship in wrestling. His tournaments will take place in Macon, Georgia on today from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., on tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Today the tennis team will play Washington High School here at the school starting at 5.30 p.m. On next Wednesday the tennis team will play Grady High School at Piedmont Park also starting at 5.30 p.m. Today, the varsity basketball team, to be exact, the girls' varsity basketball team has advanced to the second round playoffs. They will play at Douglas High School starting at 7 p.m. We will play South Atlanta. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, students, faculty, staff, please come out and support your Lady Panthers. This has been Courtney Hayes with your current events. Now back to Denver. Now let's go to Sydney Terry with our What's Trending segment. Oh. Hi, I'm Sydney Terry. Are you ready to see What's Trending? This week we're celebrating Valentine's Day and we have a few students that would like to shout out their special someone. What's up y'all? My name is Quinley. Special shout out to Josella Pearson. Love my life, man. Happy Valentine. My name is Tanzania Wilson and I would like to give a special shout out to Terrence Warner. Roses are red, violets are blue. Happy Valentine's Day to you. What's up everybody? I'm Corey. I shout out my baby Tonda. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you, kid. Good morning. My name is Kristen, and I just want to say a special shout out to my bae, Devin Durden. Happy Valentine's Day. My name is Joseph Hinton. 
and I want to tell this park happy Valentine's Day. Hey, I'm Desiree Washington, and I want to give a special shout out to Dexter Brown. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. My name is Laquan Evans. I shall not miss her. And Miss Her, I want to say I want you to get well and have a good Valentine's Day with your kids. Uh, my name is Cyan Taylor. I'm shouting out Gonzalo Serta. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Amari Willis. And I want to shout out Amari Harris. That is my baby. And I love her. My name is Kavia, and I'm getting a shout out to Yasmin. They're my baby. I like you a lot. Of. That's a little, but a lot. Happy Valentine's Day, Odessa Durham. I'm tired. My name is Anthony. I want to get a shout out to Mr. Griffin. Happy Valentine's Day. For those of you who didn't receive a Valentine's Day shout out, happy Valentine's Day from me, Sydney Terry, and that's what's trending. Let's go to Joe Sella with our new health and fitness segment. Good morning, Panthers. Let's talk about fitness. Fitness may seem boring, but it actually helps your body. Working out makes you feel better about yourself. Here are some exercises that you can do at home. The first exercise is jumping jacks. Make sure you have enough space so you won't hurt yourself. The next exercise is bicycle. Make sure you have your legs high enough so that you can feel your abs working. The next exercise is sit-ups. Make sure you go all the way up and back down. You can have somebody on your feet so that you can do the sit-ups properly. The next exercise is flutter kicks. This is not how you do it properly. This is the correct way. Make sure you keep your legs and knees locked. This is all for your fitness. You can grab a partner at any time. Working out does not always have to be boring. Now back to you guys. Now let's go to our sports segment with Taylor Terry and Kenyandre Monfort. Good morning, Taylor Bridges. My name is Taylor Terry. And my name is Kenyandre Monfort. And on February 7th, former coach from North Carolina, Dean Smith, died at the age of 83. Dean Smith is responsible for two of the Tar Heels national championships in 1982 and 1993. He also retired in 1997. He is accountable for the likes of players like Vince Carter and Michael Jordan. And the NBA news, Spurs coach Greg Popovich reached a great milestone Monday as he won his 1,000th career game. The score is 95-93. It's a good game, though. It really was. Did you watch it? I mean, it was a close game. It was all right. And that adds on to Greg's five championship rings with the Spurs. And now to my favorite part of our new segment, college I'm basketball. Asking. Oh, yeah. It was Kentucky versus Florida. It was a good game, too. Uh, Kentucky won. Florida, Florida gave them... You know, a little run for their money, yeah. but they still won. They still unfit. The game was close. Florida was even up by as much as six points against the Wildcats. And he said, my fault. I'm sorry. But did you see that, though? Oh, yeah. Hey. Willie hey, Carly Sign, who basically took off from almost the free throw line. Oh, what is that? He's still not MJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on to the women's part. Taylor, yo, you come, Huskies. They did it. They beat them. They beat South Carolina. It was a good game. You know, the, the first half was a good game. Right. But the second half, you know, South Carolina did what I said they was going to do. I knew that they was going to was gonna lay back. They was just, you know, act like they don't care. Because even last week you said the way they played was kind of iffy in their yep. last game. Yep, and, and they played iffy that second half. Right. And then they lost. If and they the All-American, Brianna Stewart, though. She had points. 22 points. Kalina Mosqueda Lewis had a 23-point game. Yeah, that... Her and Brianna Stewart, 23-22. UConn control both halves. With the loss of South Carolina, that leaves Princeton on the women's side as the only undefeated team in NCAA women's basketball. Yep. And they only ranked number 16. And that concludes sports with who? Taylor Terry. What's your name? Everybody know i man. Now it's time to heat it up with Miss Green. and welcome to Heating It Up. I'm back in the kitchen here today, but today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do some chicken enchiladas, and I'm also going to do some sweet homemade brownies, all right? And so we're gonna focus on the chicken enchiladas because I wanna get, go ahead and get those in the oven. So what you need for the chicken enchiladas, real simple. I bought some rotisserie chicken, 
right from Kroger. You can get them from Publix, anywhere that already serves a rotisserie chicken. We have some shredded cheese. We have um, the tortillas. We also have the enchilada sauce. We have the green chilies, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken and mushroom. And then I just have some canola oil and I have my pan. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna go ahead and take, the, take apart this rotisserie chicken. All right, so I'm just gonna begin to take the, the skin off and just use the inside of the chicken. Make sure it's real, real shredded so we can make sure there's no bones also. You wanna make sure that the skin is off too because you don't wanna eat have skin inside your enchiladas. You wanna make sure it's all meat. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the enchilada sauce. I'm gonna add the whole can. Then I'm gonna add the green chilies. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the cream of chicken and mushroom. All right, and then I'm gonna season it with my Tony Sacheries. Not too much of a seasoning. All right, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and just, I wanna mix this real quick. All right, so then I'm gonna add just a tad bit of the cheese. Now, the cheese that I decided to purchase is mixed with the Monterey Jack and the cheddar and the shredded cheese. I just didn't wanna to have to deal with trying to have three different cheeses. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit because I'm actually going to put the cheese on top of the enchiladas right before I put them in the oven. So I'm just gonna mix that. I'm gonna spray the bottom of the pan, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the, the, um, the mix. I'm gonna start adding the mix to the tortilla. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take it and put it right in the center. And you could fill it as much as you want to, but you don't want it to kind of overflow. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And then I'm just gonna roll it, the tortilla. See how I'm rolling it? Now, and I'm gonna face, place it face down in the pan. And then I'm just gonna do the rest. Okay, so now that I have the tortillas lined up, I'm just going to place, I'm gonna pour the enchilada sauce over the enchiladas, and then I am going to coat it, but not too much, with cheese. So I have the oven preheated already to 350 degrees, and I am going to just place let me add a little bit more enchilada sauce. Yes, there we go. It's good to go now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the oven and I'm gonna place it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And um, I'm not going to cover it because I just want it to cook on the inside and get the cheese to melt. And then we'll see how it comes out. All right, so now on to made from scratch chocolate chip chewy brownies. All right, so what you need is two sticks of butter. You're going to need two cups of granulated sugar, four large eggs, and they gotta be at room temperature, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You need 
one cup of Dutch cocoa. You're gonna need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of the baking powder, and then you're gonna have one cup of your chocolate chips. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and I've, the, the oven is already preheated. I've lined our pan with aluminum foil, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it just to go ahead and get it over with. All right. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna melt the butter over low heat. Okay, and so while the um, butter is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, cups of, my two cups of sugar. And then once the butter is melted, I'm gonna add the two cups of sugar into the pot and just stir it. And so we'll see that in just a second. Now that the butter has melted, I'm adding two cups of sugar. I've already added one cup, and so this is the second cup. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it. Okay, so you, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the sugar and the butter, it is melted and it's bubbling. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool. I'm gonna sit it to the side. And then, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my dry ingredients. And so here is the one cup of cocoa. Okay, you see it flying everywhere. All right, and then I'm gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour. Okay, here's my flour, okay. Then I'm gonna add my teaspoon of salt, which I don't really need to measure that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a teaspoon of my baking powder. Just go ahead and. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just spoon my ingredients. All right. Just mix them together. All right, so I have my dry ingredients, but then I'm gonna add the eggs. I have four eggs, and then I'm gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the butter mix, and I'm gonna add the eggs and whisk it in. Go ahead and stir it in one at a time. And what I'm looking for is a shiny coat, is what I'm looking for. So two teaspoons of vanilla. All right. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just stir. And I'm not gonna over stir, I'm just gonna stir just so it can mix well. Okay, I want you guys to take a look at this batter. Look at this, look how dark and rich it is. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the cup of chocolate chips. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there. Just fold them in there. Look at that, look at that. Look at those chocolate chips. You know what? I have a little bit of chocolate chips left in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and just add the rest, just cause I'm feeling generous. All right, just gonna fold those in there. Oh yes, thick. All right, so the only thing that's left is just to put them in this pan. All right, the oven is, is, is heated already at 350 degrees. Just gonna pour all of it in the pan. All right, so I'm just gonna smooth it out in this pan, just to even it out, 
that's what I'm doing. So I can have the same amount on each side. Wow, look at this. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes and then we'll see what it looks like. Here are the enchiladas, they just came out the oven. It took 25 minutes, I added some extra cheese while it was in there and it just melted to perfection. All right, so I've just taken the brownies out of the oven and I want you to look at this. Look at that pretty brown coating on top. So my youngest son has been waiting for these brownies to cook, but before he can, um, before he can eat them, they're gonna have to cool before I cut them. So I'm gonna let them cool for about five to 10 minutes and then I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna let them enjoy. Thank you for joining and we'll see you next time. Now let's go to the green light with Jordan Hawthorne. Good morning, DM Thero. I am Jordan Hawthorne and I'm here to highlight an important African-American figure for Black History Month. Who I'm going to be highlighting this week is Joseph E. Lowry. Born October 6, 1921, he is an American minister in the United Methodist Church and a leader in the American Civil Rights Movement. After Rosa Parks was arrested in 1955, he helped lead the Montgomery bus boycott. He also led the Selma March of 1965. Together, he and Dr. King founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. He was also a co-founder and former president of the Black Leadership Forum. He was the pastor of Cascade United Methodist Church in Atlanta from 1986 to 1992 adding 1,000 members and 10 acres of land. To honor him, the city of Atlanta renamed Ashby Street after him. It is now Joseph E. Lowry Boulevard. Our auditorium is also named after him, and he plans to be here on February 23, 2015 for a lecture series. Thank you. <laughs> 